what's up with all the judging, man? This week, I deserve this. So cheers. So the reason we're celebrating a little bit is because we had the best week of our trading session thus far. So this week, we are coming in positive. And I'm going to go over everything with you guys like always. This might be a little longer video than last time because I got to address a few people and some questions that were asked. I'm going to let you guys know what it is. All right. So the first thing I want to address to you guys is the summary for the week. All right. Let's take a look at the weekly account performance. And this week we are closing the week up $188.76 altogether, winners and losers. We got some losers that are dragging us down and, and it's like one step forward, two steps back. And my dog just came into the room. Come on, let's be on camera, come on. For the year though, we are still up $2,714. So if we can manage to break even on the losers that we are currently bag holding, we'll be looking much better from that point. But it is what it is as part of trading. So last week, last week, man, I made the video. I told you guys what it is. I told you I'm shorting the market because the move's making a fake, the, the market's making a fake move up. I'll play that clip. Gray zone, which again is the no trade zone. There was a green trend line, which broke the other day, and it still tried to climb up, which if it's under the trend line, it's a fake, fake momentum move up. So. Later on, you'll see me shorting the market. I shorted the market on Friday, and dang, I really hope that works out because we are eating dirt right now. And again, I was short since Friday evening, and Monday, Tuesday, the market fell, and look what happened, guys. Look what happened from this fake move up. Let's put it on a daily chart so it's easier to see for you guys. What happened? Once it broke that trend line, it was a fake move up. It tried to retest this previous high, which the sellers completely were aware of, and they sold off right here. And this is where we cashed in. At least $900 were cashed in around these two days from shorting the market. And again, shorting the market has been the riskiest, but yet the most rewarding trades that I have done on this account so far. And I would have doubled my money here because I had two short positions, but I got out of one because I got scared and I just wanted my money back break even, which was a big mistake because the stock kept running and I could have easily made that a $2,000 winner if everything went well. The other winner we had on our list was CCL, which is Carnival Cruise Line. Carnival Cruise Line, we are locking in. Let's see how much we made this week on Carnival Cruise Line. 500 $78. We traded it a few times and it was tricky to trade. We could have locked in more money as well. We tried to let some of the winners run and you know today was actually the best day. I think we locked in around $200 of profit and we still have some shares left of Carnival Cruise Line going into next week. So again with the money we locked in for profit this week, we are approaching about $1,550 of profit this week, which again makes it the best week I've had. It sucks that we have some losers and we're going to talk about those losers right now. We're going to talk about our current position in the stock market here. Again, Southwest Airlines is bringing me down a lot. Position average is right over here and this thing keeps sinking. It broke this triple support and now it's keep moving down which is surprising because Southwest Airlines has the best from my understanding uh, money balance balance sheet J dust which is the inverse gold is killing me this thing's just a mess I haven't even been looking at it because after that reverse split which I told you reverse splits are very scary it kept selling off and this thing can be a lost cause USO oil got a little bit better as you guys can see it's slowly starting to pick up Let's see if we can break even on this stock. It's it's at that point where maybe I could still make a lot more money, but man, I've been wrong from the beginning, so I may as well just get out. Except that uh, the fact that I can't make money and I was in it, I was in a bad trade from the get go. UAL again is kind of trying to uh, break this trend line, but it's it's not having some luck. We actually had nice volume one of the, the other day. So again, we're down small size on this small position, but we're down 400. 
We jumped in American Airlines this week as well towards the lows and uh, we were just about breaking even today but yeah it won't it won't let it happen not a bad position um let's just hope airlines can pick up other than that we got a few free stocks and we got some shares of carnival cruise line and uh we're we already took all our partials we got a few shares left we're gonna ride it out see what happens and that's the positions those are the positions that we have Again, going into next week, I'm not sure exactly what to expect. We might travel sideways right over here. Again, this is the no trade zone. As you can see, we reject it out of here once. We reject it out of here twice. So we might be trying to fill some of these gaps that I have labeled in the light blue color. We have a few gaps that filled this week. But again, the market created so many gaps. So we can go either way and we're stuck in the middle. So it's going to be hard trading next week. But I'm going to try to be more patient, wait for setups. I've been learning week by week. I'm learning myself as a trader. I'm learning the things I'm doing wrong and I'm trying to improve. It's very, very hard to improve on things. But slowly but surely, hopefully we'll end up in profit. So I had someone ask me, bro, just start another channel for trading. Don't involve it in your automotive content because obviously you're getting less views. It's just out of place to be in an automotive channel. Well, this is what I have to say. I thought about it for a little bit. And it's like this, I stumbled upon trading away from the automotive world. And I'm lucky I, I came across trading and, and built my way into it and I am where I am today. But if I never came across it by mistake, who knows what I'd be doing right now? Who knows if I'd be able to make some profits like I am making right now? So by me creating this content on an automotive platform, it's gonna give you guys the opportunity to just be exposed to it if you like it great go ahead and start trading practice you know you can't go wrong you just got to start somewhere and that's where i started and i worked my way up to here and hopefully you know showing you guys some profits showing you guys a little bit of the day in day out of me trading can can open up your eyes guys and who knows you might be able to jump in on trading you might be able to be profitable you might be a great trader and be able to quit your day job and trade for a living so on that note i am going to keep posting these weekly videos for now until i become a sore loser and i can't bear to get in front of the camera and tell you guys my statistics but so far you know we're still battling up there we got more losers than winners but overall we're, we're up we're up twenty seven hundred dollars since quarantine started so i don't know two months just about Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this week. This is the recap for the trading week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. We got some automotive content coming your way as well. As always, be careful out there. Stay quarantined. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for